Hello, I am Franklin, a technical account manager here at the AWS office in Virginia. Today, I am going to show you how to configure your website to fail over to an Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket when an Amazon Route 53 health check fails. Let's get started. For this video, I assume that I already have an active Route 53 hosted zone. The dynamic version of my website is hosted on an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance and that Route 53 is successfully routing website traffic to my EC2 instance. Let's say I host my dynamic website on an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance. I want to set up static endpoint that my dynamic website can fail over to in case there is an issue with my infrastructure. How can I achieve that? The answer is to configure my website to fail over to an Amazon S3 bucket when my web server fails health check. When the health check returns to healthy, the hosted zone then automatically routes traffic to the web server. Let's see how to do this. After logging into the AWS management console, navigate to the Route 53 console. Then select the DNS management hosted zones. Next, I select my domain name hosted zone. Here you can see that my resource is already pointing to the IP of the EC2 instance where the web server is hosted. Let's try to browse to the website. Here we can see that the website is hosted on an EC2 instance. Now I am going back to my Route 53 console. To configure the hosted zone to fail over to a static website hosted in Amazon S3 bucket, I will start by creating a static website according to the instruction available in AWS documentation. These instructions describe how to configure a bucket for a website hosting the static website. This will be what the user will see when my hosted zone fails over. Now let's configure the Amazon S3 static website. I am going to the Amazon S3 service. Then select create bucket. When naming the bucket, be sure that the S3 bucket name is the same as the name of your record. Select the region where you want to create the bucket in. For me, it's Northern Virginia region. Once done, select create. I will go to my bucket. I will upload my static website files in my bucket. Here you can see I have already uploaded the necessary files to serve my static website from the S3 bucket. However, I still must add or turn on additional features in my S3 bucket. To do that, I will go to bucket properties. In properties, I will go to the static website hosting section, edit the section to turn on static website hosting. And then in the index document, describe index file that I previously updated to the bucket. That is index.html. Choose save changes. One more thing we must configure in our S3 bucket is the permission. Go to the permission section. In permission, I will go to bucket policy and select edit. As you can see, I have already pasted the policy for my bucket. Next, I'll select save changes. Now let's test whether I can access my static website by using the S3 endpoint that I created in static website hosting section. As we can see, the website is accessible. Note that Amazon S3 supports only the HTTP protocol. If your website uses HTTPS, the page will show the error could not display this page at failover. To serve HTTPS, you must use CloudFriend to serve HTTPS request for your Amazon S3 bucket. Now I'll navigate to Route 53 to create my health check. Next, select health check from the left column. Choose create health check and then enter the following. 
for name enter a name for the health check for what to monitor choose endpoint for specify endpoint by choose ip address for protocol choose http for ip address and host name enter the ip address and the host name of your ec2 instance for port choose 80 leave path empty or specify the page that you want to check now choose next now for create alarm choose yes and then choose create health check next let's go to hosted zone next i'll select my domain name hosted zone I see my primary record that's pointing to the IP address of the EC2 instance. I will choose the record and then choose edit. Now edit the record with these values. For record name, enter the name. Make sure that it's the same as the S3 bucket name. For record type, choose A. Route traffic to an IPv4 address and some AWS resources. For alias, leave it as, it as off. For routing policy, choose failover. For failover record type, choose primary. For associate with health check, choose yes. And then choose the health check that you created previously. For record ID, give any name. Select save. Now let's create the failover endpoint. Go to your hosted zone console, choose create record and then enter the following. For record name, use the same value that you entered for the primary record. For record type, choose a route traffic to an IPv4 address and some AWS resources. For alias, choose yes. For alias target, choose the S3 bucket that you created previously. For routing policy, choose failover. For failover record type, choose secondary. For evaluate target health, please choose no. For record ID, enter any name. For associate with health check, choose no. Now choose create record. Here is what my route 53 hosted zone now looks like after I complete my modification. Now let's test it and see if it works. To test, I will use an incognito window to avoid any issue related to browser caching. When I enter my domain name in the browser, I can access the page hosted on my EC2 instance. Now I am back at AWS Management Console, navigate to EC2 Console. Next, I navigate to instances running. Here, I can see that the instance in which my dynamic website is hosted is running successfully. I will choose the instance, select instance state and then choose stop instance. I get a pop up to stop the instance. I will choose stop. This simulates the failure of the web server. Note that stopping instance can take a few moments. Now I'm back to incognito window to check if the failover works as expected. Let me enter the domain name on the browser. Here you can see that the new website is being served by Amazon S3. This shows that failover worked as expected. Now you know how to configure your website to failover to an S3 bucket when a Route 53 health check fails. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.